Hello and welcome to another Minecraft video. Uh, today we're just going to be uh, looking at the redstone wiring which made this um, self-moving piston happen. So when the button impulse comes down it comes through this uh, short nut. So this will turn the uh, long button click into something shorter. And then so basically uh, <laughs> all these lines power the different torches so for the pistons to move you want the first one to extend so this one needs to flick on and off then you want this one to extend and turn back in this one to extend and go back in this one to extend and go back in so it's just moving forward each time so to do this I think I did it a big way there might be a smaller way of doing it but this is the first way I thought of and it worked so I stayed with it. So basically all these lines of redstone repeaters and wires just connect up to these torches. And then so torches from above cannot power repeaters so I've had to do it repeater dust, repeater dust, repeater dust so that you can power the dust on the floor. So when that turns on it will turn that light on and then off again and then these delays around here will mean that when that one's finished it will then turn this one on and off and so it moves forward and just keeps going through so if I can I'll just go press the button so we can look at it from under here so it's gone through the shortener and you can just see these lights turning off and on then I'll show you it down there I didn't make it all the way to the end because, uh, well, it's all the same really after a certain point. And then I haven't filled in these last three yet. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you next time. Bye.